Hello, and welcome to the SAP Business One Overview video series. Today, we're going to be taking a look at opportunities. And under opportunities, we're going to be looking specifically at opportunity reports. So I'm going to type in opportunity. And we can see that as I start typing that in, quite a lot of information is coming up about opportunities. So let's go take a look at a standard opportunity that's within the system. I'm going to click on that. As we can see here, I can now start filling out my opportunity based on my customer information with my partner code up here. I can put in my predicted closing dates, predicted amounts. But what I'm going to do is go back to one that I already have created so that we can see how that's been populated. So here we can see that uh, this is giving me a total amount of my customer that has been invoiced to date. So it gives me a nice idea of the other opportunities that I have within the system. I can see that my closing percentage amount is about 60%, and that's going to help me on my opportunity reports. I can also see here that I'm expecting this to close within 30 days with a predicted closing date that has been automatically populated, and I can put in a potential amount. Now, under my general tab and my stages, this is where I can now start adding in quite a lot of detailed information. I can put in quotations, I can put in sales orders, I can track all different types of documents that are within the system here as I've been creating them. Using those golden arrows, I can go directly into that document, which makes it very nice and easy for me to host and manage many different documents within my opportunity that we have there. Under my partner tab, if I wanted to be able to track different partners that were associated with this, also if I want to do competition and be able to track different competitors that I might be up against with my opportunity. All the information that I add into the system is going to be very helpful as I start to run my opportunity reports. Because if I want to run a, a one loss report, maybe I'm finding that a specific competitor beats me out more times than often. So I want to be able to go into the system and start running some valued reports against that. Now I can add, a, I can duplicate a, an opportunity to very simply and easily create another one, making it simple to do that, or I can remove it. But most likely I'm not going to remove, I'm just going to mark this opportunity as lost instead of open, because then that gives me a very nice way, again, in my reports, if I want to be able to add in a new row, create that to where I can then do a lost report over my one report. Uh, as we get into the reporting video uh, a little bit later in the series, you're going to see how running those reports is extremely valuable to providing me a nice pipeline and a nice funnel for sales. Thank you very much for listening to our sales opportunity overview today.